Hi, my name is Reese. I am eight. I'm going into third grade and I read Braille. Hi, my name is Kalinka. I'm going in third grade and, I, and I'm age eight and I read Braille. One of the great things about the Utah School for the Blind is that it covers the entire state. And part of our mission is to provide the most responsive, caring, and innovative experience for any students who are blind or visually impaired. And we deliver services, whether they live in rural areas or in the highly populated urban areas or everything in between. And so the, the blind school is really a model for other schools across the country. So the Utah School for the Blind has four distinct programs. They have a parent-infant program for our babies, the zero to three program. They have a campus program, which we serve kids from preschool age three through age 22. And they also offer a deaf-blind program, a very specialized program for kids who have vision and hearing issues. And we also offer our outreach services. So our outreach services offer programs for kids uh, preschool up through age 22 and they go to their own local schools. And we provide traveling teachers, or what we call itinerant teachers, and they go out and visit the students, provide instruction in Braille, provide collaboration, provide um, their expertise in helping kids succeed in their own local education areas. And that's a huge plus for every kiddo. Some of the things that make us very unique and different from a regular special ed classroom or a regular LEA is what we call the expanded core curriculum. What makes our school different, first and foremost, is that we teach the expanded core curriculum. Now I know you hear the words core curriculum in there and you're really thinking about those academics, but I want you to focus on expanded because that's what we're doing. We teach beyond academics and this expanded core curriculum is a nationally recognized curriculum for students with vision impairments. There are nine additional areas, nine more than the core, that we teach at our school. And so as we are doing reading, writing, and math, we are also doing independent living skills, recreation and leisure, and self-determination. We're thinking about career education as early as preschool. What are those skills? So throughout our day, we are constantly looking at this expanded core curriculum. In addition to going into the homes, a couple of times a year we'll bring parents in for special conferences. And one year we did a father's panel. And this one young father had just had a simulation experience where he had put on the goggles and the blindfolds and had used a white cane and was trying to get through an obstacle course. And then he had the parent panel right after that. He came in to, to visit with his, uh, his colleagues, other fathers who were also experiencing this with children with visual impairments. And he sat and he cried. He cried and he said, I have been thinking so much about my boy and what life will be like for him and whether or not he'll have work and all these things have been in my mind since he was born but never once have I thought what it's like for him and today I learned what it's like for him. That is really our role in the parent-infant program to help parents understand what life is like for their young children and how to make accommodations for them. Our education is personalized, number one, because it's mandated by federal law in, the, in that our students' education must be individualized. But number two, with our students having both the combination of the vision and the hearing loss with different abilities, um, it, is, it has to be individualized. We have to look at every student as a very individual student. What works for one student is not going to work for another. If you've met one student with deaf blindness, you've met one student with deaf blindness. We have interveners that we will switch from one student to another, maybe within a couple of years, and it's like a different job for them because they're, they're going into a different classroom. The student's needs are completely different. The communication needs, their health needs, all of, all of the above, so it's very personalized.
You know, I've seen some of our, our paraprofessionals working with a child that might blink in a certain way, and they know immediately what that child is communicating because they've taken the time to get to know that child so well. And so it's that same hunger for learning that our staff shows um, in, in working with our students. So the message that I want to share with parents is that if they have a child who is blind or visually impaired, there's a team of teachers standing by willing and able to help them be successful in school based on what the individual student needs. And we, we care about the students, we love our students, we love collaborating with the schools, and we love the team-based approach that we have to working with the students because sometimes the answers come from the occupational therapist or the physical therapist or the school teacher. And as we're working with each other, then we come up with the best solutions that will help the student to be successful and have a positive school experience that will help prepare them for independent adulthood.